Hello, welcome back to Satisfactory. I'm Maker Gaming, and yeah, my last episode I did a tips video on how to create any angle using beams and trig. And today we're going to look at all the information from our last video condensed into a few blueprints. I'll just show you how to use the blueprints. And then at the end, I'll go over some of the tricks and things I learned while I was figuring these out. Thanks for watching. Okay, so these are the seven blueprints in the pack. They are located in a folder in the description of this video. The description's down below, right by the like and subscribe buttons. And yeah, this is the names, and then this is how to use them. So for the 5, 7, 9, and 11 polygons, they're all going to be the exact same method shown here. So we're just going to pick a side. We're going to do five foundations here. And all of our blueprints are set to this down arrow. It's supposed to be pointing at you while you're working. And you just set the first one. You can use H for nudge and get it right there um, where it's directly above the last foundation to the right. And you want to place it. And then you want to zoop a foundation from underneath that one. Uh, and you're going to go out five again. And you just delete the blueprint. And you just repeat that until you get back to the start. Uh, and for the rest of the shapes, we'll, we repeat this exact process just more times and using the appropriate template. And then we'll talk about some uh, imperfections you have to deal with the 7 and the 11. But first, let's look at the triangle because it's a little different. Um, this is the easiest jig to make. It's the easiest shape to place. Uh, making the angles as simple as using the barrier method, like this. And then for placing, you just want to lay out the foundations for whatever size you want, pick a side, and then you just place the template on the two end foundations. And then from there, you just zoop a foundation or a wall, um, as many foundations as you picked for the first side, on the other two sides, and that's your triangle. Alright, so now we need to go over the imperfections. Okay, so based on the method that I get these angles, which you can see in the last video, that I created any angle video, uh, there are slight imperfections in the 7 and 11. And so this is our error for 7, and then here's a clip of the error in 11. So 7 doesn't actually quite go far enough, and 11 goes too far. So now I'm going to show you just how to fix that method. It, there, they won't be the exact same links on that last side, but the edges will be perfect. So this is our last section of a polygon, and we want both corners to be perfect. Run a beam from one corner to the other corner midway up the foundation. Then the side you started from, place a perpendicular beam four meters out from the edge and place the foundation there. That fixes the first edge. Now delete those beams and repeat the process with the start of the beam from the other corner And now both edges are perfect. And that is our gap. The only issue for building is that now one side is slightly larger or smaller than the other sides. Okay, and this is the exact same method again in time lapse for the 11 sided polygon. Um, yeah, just if you need a second look at it from a slightly cleaner angle, just slow it down if you need it. So that's the error in this method. Otherwise, um, triangle, pentagon, 11, I'm sorry, the 9, those are all perfect. So there you go. Um, I, hope, I hope people get some use out of these. We're going to leave that hole showing just for our shame. Making star patterns after the shape is really easy. 
you just start at a point and you move right. Um, you move right for a pentagon, it's two. Um, for a septagon, it's three. So you go to that point, and you count two more, and you go to that point, and count two more, go to that point, and you repeat until you get back to the start. For larger shapes that are over 40 meters across, uh, there is a trick with beams. So you could place the first point of the beam then you can point the end of a beam to any point, even longer than that 40 meters, and the and the beam will place in that orientation. So just do that as many times as needed to cross the shape. This is it with lights on it. Which, with lumen, could be cooler. I ain't turning lumen on right now, though. With the stars made, it's no hard thing to add walls to the beams. The one thing to note would be that the way walls snap is by one meter increments from the first point of the beam. So this side's going to be dead on, but this side over here isn't exactly right. That's a bad example because it's still pretty close, but the way you'd fix that is once you've got the beam going for that way, then you'd want to come and reset it from that direction. And then this one will snap just like that one on the very edge. And then you overlap somewhere in the middle and now both sides are perfect. So this is taken a little bit, you know, to a, some sort of conclusion. Could do more. Alright, now I'll just go over a few random things I learned that could be important if you're going to be using these. Oh, and also the 1 in 5 degree blueprints, they're in there. Use them. Um, use them with your regular methods to add 1 in 5 degrees where you need to. Self-explanatory. For this one, if you're building in the air and not on the ground, and you're having trouble aligning the blueprint, you can add a foundation behind it, and that'll give it a platform to rest on. Like so. This is just showing that it's really easy to just add ramps to any of these polygons going inwards and you end up with some pretty cool geometric patterns in the middle. I wanted to see how to make a factory symmetrical across the different shapes. I extended one foundation except for the corners and then one more at each middle. And I didn't record the rest, but I set up some lifts in the center and and made a couple constructors fit on each side. And yeah, I, I like how it came out. But yeah, this was just a sample to prove that I could, you know, make a factory work in a symmetrical setting for one of these. So yeah, I'm going to turn this on and get out of here. So thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions. Anyways couple things that made me laugh and then I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. So yeah, that could be something at the top of one of these towers or something. Anyway, that's how you put walls on a beam. And then your air is in the middle. Which, you know, has a purpose. It looks... Oh, shoot. Looks like I'm standing. <laughs>